we're in the final um, leg of uh, the setting up the uh, toolpath routine. So we've set all the geometry, we've defined all the toolpaths, just have to make sure that we uh, save this again. Okay. Now, last thing we have to do is um, process it into generic, um, what they call NC code, which is the code that the uh, CNC router understands, in fact, what all CNC routers understand, and um, transmit it to the machine itself, so that when we go to the keypad, it's uh, available for us to use. Now, we use uh, this uh, tool up here, which is um, it's called a, uh, it's got a little G1 next to a spindle. So if we select that, it'll bring up the output dialog menu. Now, this sort of cascading hierarchy of um, strategies and approaches to executing the job um, takes a little bit of uh, getting used to, but it gives you a fine grain level of control um, that helps you uh, cut the job in the safest and uh, most effective way. So if we look at currently, um, the job is going to execute in the priority according to the tool, object, strategy, pass and layer in that order. So if we look at the tool order, it will actually start cutting with a 4 mil straight flute then down to the 8 and then down to the 12.7, so it's going small to large. The strategy order is different, it's, there's different strategies. Um, we've got the drill hole, we've got uh, a fill, we've got the offset which is the inside cut here and then the offset which is the outside cut. Now typically what you want to do is to preserve as much of the vacuum on the table as you can. Um, so the less you cut through um, until the very end, the better. So in this instance, what we probably want to do is to make sure that anything that we're not cutting through, like these um, uh, rebates for the bolt holes, are cut first, then the drill, then in fact, well, before we do even do the drill, these tiny little uh, rebates here, then the drill, then the inside cut, then the outside cut. So if we look at strategy, we can reorganize the hierarchy and I'm going to elevate island fill. I'm going to select it and then hover my mouse left button click and then drag it up. You really need that little rectangle that's underneath the arrow and then elevate island fill to number one. So if we go back to priority, I actually want to, to force and route to um, work to the strategy as the primary hierarchy. So I'm going to elevate strategy right to the top. So it means that it's going to execute the job according to the strategy. So it's going to do the island field and the drill and so on and so on. Now to give it a finer grain level of control, if we look at the tool, because remember we've got a, a routing strategy that's both for the rebate as well as these little corners. So if we go to the tool order, what we really want to do is do these routes first and then the little corners. So in fact, the 8mm rougher was used to do this 5mm rebate. So I'm going to elevate the 8mm rougher to first and then the 4mm and then the 12.7. So if we go back to the priority, the strategy is going to be it will do the island fill first and then it goes to the next order which is the tool order and then it will use the 8mm rougher first so it will do an island fill using the 8mm rougher and then it will do an island fill using the 4mm straight flute. So that's the way the finer grain of control comes with this sort of cascading uh, hierarchy tree. So once we're happy with the priority of the, or the order of the cut, what we need to do is to send the job to the machine. Now, we don't use this to machine button. What we do is the to file button. What that means is that the CNC machine um, just appears as a network drive and it allows us to place the files in folders, whereas if we go to machine, we lose that uh, ability. So we're going to go to file. We're going to look for the CNC machine on the network. So here it is, the Z drive CNC router. Double click on that. 
and here you can see all the folders that are stored on the CNC machine that we can access through the uh, control panel. I'm going to put this into training. I'm going to double click on that. Now I'm going to give the file name uh, a reasonably brief description because there's a certain limit to the number of characters uh, we can uh, see on the control pad at any one time. So in fact I'm going to use this one. I'm going to overwrite it because I quite like the length of that and I don't need that file name anymore. And I'm going to save it as that. So what it's going to do is it's both going to transmit the file and also encode it as an NC. So when I press save here, yes we want to replace it, you'll see this blue status bar coming up here which means that it's both encoding and transmitting it to the machine. Once the blue status bar has uh, finished, it should be already in the machine and ready to go. For some of the more complicated uh, files with multiple routines, that status could you know, take up to minutes. So be patient and let it run through. Um, uh, so we've finished uh, all of the tool pathing that we need to do. The action now is going to be all at the machine. So the file's waiting for us. We can place the material and start cutting this job.